Hello folks. It's time to play a game that I have been quite nervous to play. Polar Dread. I don't think I can do this. I think I'm gonna do a tutorial. I'm actually scared, I'm terrified. Hello, player, and welcome to Polar Dread. Now, we don't have an actual narration yet for this tutorial, so you're gonna be stuck with me instead for now. Um, so the first thing I want to introduce you to is the basic mechanics of the game because oh. it's going to get a little complex in the later nights of the game and you have to know how to manage everything in the room. I think a good place to start would be your door controls. So, if you look down to the right of the room, you should see a door that has some fairy lights at the top of it. This is going to be your main office entrance and this is how a lot of the enemies are going to try to get into your room. Now, if you look down at your table, you should see that there's a little button on it that's this to the one? far right. This will actually toggle the door opening it or closing it. Now don't worry about the door opening on its own because it's going to stay shut if you hold it shut. As soon as you toggle it back off again though, the door will open, meaning that enemies can get through. Now the reason you want to keep the door open sometimes is because you have a power limit. You can actually view this limit on your watch using the green rim that surrounds the time. Once the green rim turns red, that's power that you've effectively lost, which you cannot get back until the end of your shift. So you have to manage all your power the best you can. Now, another thing I want to address is the ventilation duct behind you. If you were to turn around, you should see a ventilation duct behind you. I don't see this nothing. This is where some enemies are going to come crawling through. And in order to shut them out, first, you have to detect them by pushing the X button in your controller. You'll turn on the flashlight on your left hand. Oh. You can use this to look into darker areas of the office if you feel like it's needed. But this does not take up any power, so you can be as trigger happy with it as you want. I don't like this. If you have this. your light focused in the dark vent, you might see something in there. If you do, you look to the right of the vent and you should see a little button. This works like the door control. You can toggle it on and off and it shuts out the vent, preventing any creatures from getting inside. Now, if you turn around and face the front again, you should see a little tablet no. that's mounted in front of you. And then behind that tablet, you should see a giant flat screen on the wall that has a camera system on it. You can basically use this tablet by touching a room to toggle that camera feed to the room that you've just touched. This is so that you can tell where all the enemies are without needing to actually leave the office. It's always good to look at the cameras if you don't know where an enemy is, because otherwise they can sneak up on you if you're not paying attention. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about is how to force grab items in this game. There are some items that are currently out of your reach. But you can actually grab them and pull them towards you in a simple three-step system. First off, reach your hand towards whatever object you want to grab, and if it has a blue highlight, you're doing it correctly. Then, make a fist by squeezing either the trigger or the grip button. And then, once you have it locked in, Swing your arm backwards and it'll come flying towards you, where you can then catch it out of the air. You'll require some more items during the later nights of the game, so you want to make sure you're able to reach as many of them as you possibly can during the spare time that you have between encounters. That's all for now though, so I'll just let you win the game. What? No. Nah. Don't leave me, please. I don't really want to do. I don't really want to do this. Okay. I'm. I'm very afraid. Like that is. This is. Hello? Sam, hey, this is Isaac from management. Figured I'd leave you a call real quick since there's stuff we've got to tell you about in the office you're in. First off, I want to tell you that this shift is. Well, it's a bit longer than you thought it would be. You're gonna be up until 6 in the morning. Yeah, we know it's a bit of a bigger undertaking than you thought, but just bear in mind that these renovations are taking a very I don't long like time. this. It's why you're being here is so important. Oh god. Some people out there are well, they're kinda stupid. I know we're open twenty four seven, but people tend to stumble in while we're doing construction, like a bumbling ape. We block the doors and they literally stick their fingers in, trying to open the lock and I'm off topic again. 
Okay, let's nah. go over the obvious stick. You have a monitor in front of you. If you touch a room, the camera beep will switch to the room. Groundbreaking technology, eh? Oh, right, and the doors too. They've got a little button on the table, so just press that if you feel like someone is in the building and you should be safe. Just don't use them too much. Your electric can use quite a bit of power, and God knows this entire resort uses enough power already. Speaking of, if you look at your watch, you can see your power limit using the green room of the watch. The more it turns red, that's more money we have to spend on the power bill. Yeah, you find that funny, don't you, asshole? Anyways, oh, one thing for tonight, how dare you? turn around behind you, you'll see a vent duct. It's basically so you don't suffocate yourself, since that office gets incredibly stuffy in the wrong conditions. But if you feel like you want it off, you can just push the button to the right of the vent to close it. I think that's all for now. I'll call you soon, though. See you later, Sam. And remember to not mess up our shit. It's expensive. Oi! Swear to me. Excuse you. Nah. I'm not opening that. So I get all right. Oh, this is slightly easier than I thought it would be. Just. Okay, I think I get it. So hit me. Oh, there you are, sir. Oh, this is quite easy. Right, once he leaves. I am not going to survive this. Oh. Leave. Nah. I don't want to see this to be honest with you. Oh. Oh dearie me. I seem to have perished. That wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Yes. Sam, hey, this is Isaac from Manhattan. I got a few figured swears, I'd you a call real quick since there's stuff we've got to tell you about. Yeah, blah, 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 First off, I want to tell you that this shift is, well, it's a bit longer than you thought it would be. You're going to be up until 6 in the morning. This is actually yeah, quite you know, easy. It's a bit of a bigger undertaking than you thought, but just bear in mind that these renovations are taking a very long time. It's why you're being Says my door. Important. Some people out there are, well, they're kind of stupid. I know we're open 20 minutes. Why doing night one? I'm not doing night two tonight. We're doing construction like a bumbling ape. We block the doors and they literally stick their fingers in, trying to open the lock. And, and I'm on the top again. Okay, let's just go over the obvious stick. You have a monitor in front of you. If you touch a room, the camera. So you're gonna go in the there. Groundbreaking technology, eh? 
Oh, right, and the doors too. They've got a little button on the table, so just press that if you Yeah, I heard you, idiot. You should be safe. Just don't use them too much. Your electric can use quite a bit of power. God wow, knows it can. Power the uses enough power already. Speaking of, if you look at your watch, you can see your power limit using the green rim of the watch. The more it turns red, that's more money we have to spend on the power bill. Yeah, you find that funny, don't you? Asshole. Oi. One thing for you don't tonight, appreciate that language, turn around Buster. behind you, you'll see a vent duct. It's basically so you don't suffocate yourself, since that office gets incredibly stuffy in the wrong conditions. But if you feel like you want it off, you can just push the button to the right of the vent to close it. I think that's all for now. I'll call you soon, though. See you later, Sam. And remember to not mess up our shit. It's expensive. Stop swearing! I don't even need to shut that. Oh, and... What are you actually... So he's gone. Well, this isn't as bad as I thought it would be. This guy looks to be on cloud nine. That's his rabbit. Oh, there you are. Well, here comes this dingus. Come on, go watch your funny films. Clear. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Three o'clock. Half power left. No, nope, I actually have more than half power left. I go watch your dastardly films. How very vicious of you. I don't know what that's for. Oh. Yeah, you go away. Oh. Well, he left. I found my radio, sir. I'm gonna need a bit of time. Get oh, there you are. Yes, it's closed. Go away. And gone. And I suspect you've also gone. Yep, you have. It's still kind of weird. I feel like it's, it's like an open eye. It's like.
Well, that was that game. Oh no. Sam, hey. I am done. Let's we can get this guy's jump scare. Hi. Yes, I probably will lift the hats off my head. Spooky noise incoming. Okay, come on. It's been quite a while. I'm only letting you do this once. Am I here? No. Well, all the times I want you to be here, you just don't appear. And all the times I do want you to be here, you're like, nah. Get out of here. Get out here, my guy. Get out here. There you are, finally, man. Yeah, come on. Attack. I'm not doing the fox guy, I've already seen him. You should have sealed that vent! <laughs> Kill me! Well, that was that. You know what, let's have a go at night too, why not? Let's have a go at night too, shall we? Yeah, that'd be fun. <sighs> Slush bear. So slush bear, I've got a crouch. No video? Oh, nah. Come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer. I just... I don't like this anymore.
I don't want to hurt until I meet Slush Bear. Or die, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Shut up! I don't like this all that much. Oh god. I'm having a... They say I've got the voice of an angel. Making this. There is no chance I in in all. Oh gosh. Bear. I'm afraid our actor has to take an immediate early exit. Well, that was that. I'm just gonna die now. Definitely shall be returning to it, but for now, I, I think it might be game over. Goodbye, folks. See you on the 3rd of July.